Hi everybody, today I will show you how to add marquee text in WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, to add the marquee text in the WordPress, first of all what we need to do, we need to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here we have to search for Elementor. Alright, so as you can see here, we have the Elementor at the top of the search. So I have already installed this, now I just need to update this from here. And after this, I need to install one more plugin, which is borderless. All right. So as you can see here, we have the borderless at the top of the search by Visual Moro. So we have to install this. Now we have to click on activate. Perfect. Now what we have to do, we have to go inside the pages and click on the all pages. And here we can actually create a new page for the market text, or we can use any page that is already created here. Uh, so let's go here with a new one. Alright, so I'm going to give it a name of a marquee text here. Now let's click on publish. And now what we have to do, we have to click on edit with Elementor. So as you can see here, we are inside the Elementor editor. So from here, we can actually add our marquee text. We're going to simply write down marquee here and you will be able to see marquee text here. So we have to drag this and put this here. Alright. And now you can see this, we are having our marquee text. Okay. But what I need to do, I'm going to actually change the background color of my container. So it will be actually black color here. So we're going to have the black color here. And on our marquee text, we're going to have the white color or maybe some grayish color. Okay. Uh, so this is our marquee text here. So in the marquee text, what do we have? We have the content. Okay. And after this, we have the settings. So in the settings, we have this different options and after that we have the style and then we have the advanced settings as usual. So we're going to go inside the style right now. And here I actually need to change the text color here. So we're going to go here with the white color. Perfect. We're going to change the color maybe later, but right now we're going to go here with the white color. And now what we have to do, we're going to go back into our content and we actually need to change the speed of our text here, mark you text. Okay. So in the settings, you can see here, we have the different options here. So we have the start visible options. So if you want to disable this, you can disable this. If you want to enable this, you can enable this from here. And after this, we have duplicated. If you want to have the duplicated values, you can have the duplicated values. So if you don't want to have the duplicate values, what you can do, you can simply uh, disable this from here. And now you won't be able to see the duplicated values here. So let's have the duplicated values. And after this, we have the pause on the hover. So if I want to pause this on the hover, I can simply enable this from here. And now it will be paused when I hover over our marquee text. Okay. So if you want to have this, you can have this. Right now, I'm going to disable this. And after this, we have the directions. So we have the direction from left. And we also have the direction from the right side as well. So whatever you want to go here with. So I'm going to go here with the left. And after this, we have the duration. Okay. So if you want to increase the duration, you can simply do this from here. So I'm going to go here with the 9000 here. So these 9000s are actually the milliseconds. Okay. So if I wanted to go here with let's say 15 seconds, so I'm going to write down 15,000 here. You can see here it will go really slow. Or if you want to go even more slow, you can simply go to the maybe 20,000. And now you can see this It is really slow now. So I'm going to have this one. Okay. And one thing that I need to do here, I'm going to go into the typography and I will increase the size here. This is how it is looking. Perfect. And what we need to do, we can add the padding here. So let's just add some padding here. So I'm going to go here with, let's say 20 PX or we can go here with 40 PX or let's set it for the 50 PX here. Okay. And after this, we also have the margin. So if you want to add the margin, you can add this from here, but I don't want to have any margin here. Okay, maybe we can go here with the 10 px. And after this, we have the border type. So in the border type, if you want to add the border, you can simply change this to the solid if you want to. But I think I won't change this to the solid. I'm going to actually go here with the border radius here. So this will be 20 px. And I'm going to change the border type to none. And I would actually need to add the background color now. So in the background color, we can go here with, let's say, the black color. Okay. and uh, Right now, it is using the gradient here, but I can simply go here with the classic color as well. If I don't want to go here with the gradient, okay? 
but if you want to go here with the gradient you can simply explore this option as well you can see here this is looking good so you can also explore the gradient version as well if you wanted to but we're gonna go here with the default color and this will be the red color or we can go here with the blue color so let's change this to the blue color maybe kind of purple color this is looking good and i'm gonna go here with this one let's just go here with this one or this is looking good and we can also add the image in the background if you want to do but i would actually not add the background image here and we can have the box shadow here as well okay so in the box shadow i would actually change the color here okay so this will be maybe kind of uh let's just go here with any other color here so i'm gonna go here with maybe kind of yellowish color maybe something like this or we can also go here with the blue color so here you can actually explore any color here so i'm gonna go here with the purple color so you can actually change the values here obviously in the black background color you cannot actually see the box shadow but if i change this to let's say the white color now you will be able to see our box shadow here i think this is looking perfect all right and uh, in the container i will actually change this to the full width similarly we're gonna go inside here now you can add any value here in the box shadow and then you will be able to see it from here okay and after this we're gonna go back into our content so in the content we have the settings so in the settings you can see here you can also change the value here of the duration and also we have the gap so if you want to increase the gap into your item you can increase the values from here and this will actually increase the gap between our items here so i'm going to go here with the 100 value or we can settle for let's say 80 here this is looking good and after this we have the delay before start so if you want to add the delay before the start here you can also add this here okay and now we only have the content so in the content you can actually change the values here so you can actually write down any text here if you want to okay and if you want to add the new item you can simply add this from here okay and if you wanted to delete the previous item you can simply delete this from here so this is how you can actually change the content here so i would actually keep these values like this but we got the idea here so i'm going to simply duplicate this so we're going to have three mark you text here perfect so on the second one i'm going to change the direction here which is really simple you're going to go inside the setting and change the direction to let's say the right side and here we can also manipulate the value of the gap here so we're going to go here with the 40 okay and you can also change this to 20 as well if you want to something like this and what we need to do here we can actually go into the style and we can change the color here of the background okay so we can actually go here with let's say the red color we're gonna go here with the red color something like this okay and yeah we can do something like this as well or we can go here with the black color the black one is looking good similarly we can change the color of our third mark you text as well okay so this is how it is going to work we can change the padding here we can change the margin here and this is how we can create our mark you text so i'm gonna just add the space here okay so we're gonna go here into the advanced settings let's just add the padding at the top so that would be let's say 40 yeah this is looking good this is looking fine and we're gonna do the same thing here on the last one let's just unlink the values of the padding here and now we would need to add the bottom value here so that would be 40 as well perfect so now let's publish this now let's click on the preview now you will be able to see our mark you text here okay so this is how you can add the mark you text in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel